my holly. I'm uh, off to work now, so I'll see you later. Be home early tonight. I'm making your favourite for dinner. I will do. Being a gangster isn't just a business, it's a lifestyle. And every gangster needs his gang. And this was mine, the Charlton Gang. You got Jimmy Dyer, Nicky Gabriel, Harry Allen, three of the wisest wise guys in town. And then there's me, Charlie Charlton. Tells you, I beat this guy so bad, can speak for a month. <laughs> you listening, Nicky? Yeah, sure. Pow! Bing! Guy was out cold. So I'm looking over at him and I says, all right, tell me to go fuck myself. <laughs> hey, hey, Charlie's here. How's it going? Yeah, not bad, thanks. Charlie, yeah. I spoke with that guy down the street. He said to pay you on Wednesday. Well, make sure that he does. You don't want people thinking you're going soft when I say, hey, Nicky. So I uh, saw that thing out for you. And Holly? She didn't see a thing. You opened the door, I did what I did. As soon as you saw the body in the hall, I was out of there. Good. So, you got any more eh? What is it? Um, well, what is yeah. it? What do you want? Yeah, I... Get the fuck yeah. out! Fuck! Oh, I've always liked Jimmy. He's young, but he's a good earner. Extremely loyal. Better yet, people fear him because he's a loose fucking cannon. You want this, do you? Huh? Come on. Let's see this. This is it. The last thing we we'll ever see is the fear in your fucking eyes! It's just that. The boy's been talking, this Martin Pearson, you know, he's really become a pain up in his ass. <laughs> you just wanna... Jimmy, we can't kill him. He's a boss. And besides, we go way back. No, 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 no. Get Nicky to set up a meeting. I know, I know he's your boss and I just... <clears throat> I know, I know, he's just... Wanna... Jimmy. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. No one's my boss. He's just an old pal. Yeah? Why don't we go and have a drink? Hmm? Yeah, you're right. Good boy. Come on. Cheers. Mm. Sorry. Do you mind? There's people walking here, you fucking cunt. That's it. That's all our business is about. Someone gets killed, someone gets paid. If another boss is making trouble, you go talk to him to avoid any more bloodshed. After a while, you don't even think about it. This thing of ours, it all becomes normal. Charlie, what? Marty. How are we? Yeah, not bad, thanks. So we got to tell me this is so fucking important. Can't be too long, you know. Places to go, people to see. Well, I'll just come out and fucking say it then, won't I? If you don't mind. Mm. I've been hearing rumours. I've been hearing rumours that you've been moving on my side of town. Now, nah. care to explain to me? Well, it's a small town, isn't it? Mm. Hard to keep track of who actually owns it nowadays. Well, keep it in mind, because my boys are getting restless. Yeah? Mm. Yeah, well, if your boys let me in on the little Gambling rackets that you've got knocking about and no one is ever going to have any reason to argue with there. Mm. I've got plans for your side of town, mate. And that's all there'll ever be.
Oh, yeah. How's this? I was going to be nice, you know, butt you up a bit and appease to your fucking narcissistic nature you got going on inside that overcoat. And hopefully make it a deal, but no, fuck it. This is the deal you're going to get and it's going to be the only one. Simply let me in your side of town or fucking die trying to hold on to it. Don't get brave, Martin, because it no. don't fucking suit you. No. Now, if you want problems... Well, well there's going to be any fucking problems, is there? Unless you want to fucking make one. All of this, just for some gambling rackets. Now, listen, if you really want to go down this road, you better know what's coming, because there will yeah. be blood on the streets. Really? Can you really afford that right now? Well... No, I'm giving you a chance to avoid all of this. Too nice, Charlie. Well, I'm gonna say to you now, by putting a ribbon on this conversation, you better go and get a fucking kill. Off you pop. I'll be seeing you. Well, I'll see you first, mate. Truth is, most bosses don't want a war. We usually don't want to kill anyone. We just want to make money. The exception to this is Martin Pearson. Martin Pearson is not a good businessman. Martin Pearson is a fucking prat. Make it three. Sure. Well, that's what's wrong with this? I don't care what fucking cute. <laughs> Marty, what's going on, fella? <laughs> How's things, man? Yeah, well. The old man passed away. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm really sorry to hear that, mate. That's He's a good fella, great businessman. Well, that's the good news, mate. I am now running his firm. Well, silver linings and all that. Mm. Congratulations are in order. Yeah, well, I'm going to get the shampers. Yeah. Oh, hang about, hang about. Look what I found on my travels earlier. Fuck me, that's not... It fucking is, mate. It fucking is. My Ooh. first crime. Fucking hell, how old were we? We were like nine? Nine years old, our first crime. You and me. About to make our mark in this town. That's what we've done, pal. That's what we've fucking done. You and me. We did, didn't we? To the fucking end. Yeah? You just uh, stay in your side of town, yeah? <laughs> You all right? Someone's oh. at me. <laughs> Just a friend from work. Right, oh, actually, yeah. I'm off. But I'll see you later at home, yeah? All right, man. Love you. Love you too. What's that all about? Apparently a friend from work. Another building has been sectioned off by police following another gangland massacre. One of the bodies identified is Nicholas Gabriel, a long-feared underboss of the Charlton gang. This is the fourth report of violence caused by the mob war between rival gang bosses Charlie Charlton and Martin Pearson. Police Chief Gallagher has said that he will deal with the gang violence with any means necessary. Pricks. What are we doing? We sit back. We get killed, we kill, and get arrested. So look at Nicky. I know, Jimmy, I know. Chief Gallagher prick. There's no room to breathe, Charlie. Let me do it. Let me kill them both. Pearson and Gallagher. We ain't killing any police. They're already come down on us for Pete. They're looking into the gambling records. Oh. Do we have our gambling licenses yet? That's ten years alone. That barely scratches the surface for the crimes that we're going to pay for. Right. Great. So we sit back, scratch our balls, and hope for the best. Hope these casinos become... legit. Look, mate, just... Just give me some time alone, yeah? I'll think of something, and I'll call you. Just think about it, yeah? There are holes in that field, waiting to be filled. 
with our enemies. Jimmy. What? Charlie, Gallagher. So, you're after immunity from prosecution, are you? I don't need immunity. I just need some breathing space from you and your mates so I can take care of Martin Pearson, yeah? All right. What's it worth to you? Well, hold on, put that away. I didn't get to be chief of police by taking bribes. I got it by getting results. Now, your man, Jimmy Dyer. He's been a thorn in a community side for years. You bring him to me, and I'll make sure he gets some space. Gallagher, he won't come quiet. Just do what you got to do, just get it done. Jimmy? Yeah? Where are your glasses? Uh, what? Where are your glasses? Uh, uh, I think I lost them, I think. Uh, why? No reason. Come on, let's go. Where is it? Charlie says, hey Jimmy, go dump a body tonight. So where the fuck is it? The body's coming later. Let's get a start on the hole. Coming later? No, no, no. You bring the body and you dig the fucking hell. Are you a fucking idiot? Jesus. Bring the body, dig the hole. Fucking believe With Jimmy off the streets, we could get back to work. Without the police halfway up our asses. Look, it was better this way. If Jimmy went inside, he'd be out in nine months, and then ten guys would go in. You guess who the rat is? Chief didn't care. He just wanted Jimmy off the streets, by any means necessary. Real shame. Jimmy knew how things work, yeah? Even with all his flaws. I like the kid. Do you ever think things could be different, Harry? You know, if we didn't make the choices that we made. Couldn't really say. I guess we were born into this. Yeah, but is this it? Is this all we can lay claim to? All the crime, the blood money, Was there something a bit more? More? Well, I don't know. Wife, kids, away from all of this. Somewhere in the countryside. Or is it too late for me? I mean, have I gone too far? You can still have all that, Charlie. You don't deserve it, do I? Am I a good person? I mean, I 
no one on Cess Criminal who's destroyed life after life just chasing my own successes. But there has to be some good in me. Somewhere deep down. You have to tell me, Ali. You have to tell me that I'm a good person, yeah? I need to hear you say it. You need to tell me that I'm a good person. Oh, I'm sorry, Charlie. I like you, but we are what we are. But it's never too late to change. You now have a choice between the road that you're on now and the road that you want to be on. That in terms of my life was all it took for me to make a decision. Are you okay, Charlie? We're killing Martin Pearson. Tonight. When you're about to kill a boss, you need to make sure no one can take his place. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who recourse to you. results using a Girl Scout, I would have a box of fucking fairy dust! What? No, but you're not that much good to me alive either, are ya? Of course, fucking of course! Don't give me excuses, give me results! Well, that sounds fairer to me as well, is not it? Fairer than a blonde hair on a girl's head. Useless! Harry isn't like Jimmy. Well, he is in that he's a killer. But he's a calm, calculating killer. Well, go on then. Fucking get on with it. Here? Fuck it. You make sure the safety's off, won't you? Unless you never use a fucking gun before. Are you gonna fucking do it or what? Hey? Eh? No, you haven't ever used a gun before, have you? Call yourself a fucking gangster. Stop talking. Yeah, you're a fucking choir boy. I think God's going to fucking forgive Shut you for this. Shut up! All your righteousness and all that bollocks. You going to fucking shoot me or not? Or do I have to fucking do it for you?
Harry? Good. Owen, Harry? Thank you. As I walked in the valley, in the shadow of death, I will fear Being a gangster isn't just a business, it's a lifestyle.